Hi, yeah, uh, you're right. Nice to meet you. Um, the debut against Malta, and what was the reaction afterwards? And we didn't get to see you too much afterwards when you got home, or did you talk to people at home? And how was it? Yeah, personal reaction, you mean? Or you mean people? Both. Yeah, no, listen, personally, it was unbelievable for me, you know. Um, obviously, a dream come true to be able to represent Ireland. Um, felt like my time was coming as well, the build up in the week to the game, felt good in training and felt good veg from the coaches and the, the manager and I mean to come on the pitch, I know it was only a few minutes and I've mentioned before it's not the biggest game in the world but for me it felt unbelievable and it's like I said a dream come true. And what about the reaction then from home? Brilliant, yeah I mean for me it's more so to do with uh, the family side of things you know when people in the area always wishing me well and went back and my local primary school and that they had a, a homecoming as such for me you know um, and it makes me feel proud um, to do something so good for for the people back home you know obviously being the, the first person from Belfast in a long time to, to do such a thing so well pleased you know but hopefully more to come. Were you worried or was there any backlash at all? No, well, I mean if there was I haven't seen anything but there shouldn't be either, there shouldn't be any backlash anyway, you know, I feel like I've mentioned many many a times now, an, an Irish person playing for Ireland, I don't see the, the problem, you know, so for me it was all positive um, and like I say, well pleased. Was there ever a conversation with Matt I know Ian Barclough tried to persuade you? Uh, no, nothing from, from us two, no, but nothing that needs to be spoken about. And tell us now, this this week it's important you could you'll be hoping to try and get some game time against Leicester yeah. at the very least. No, listen, that's always the case, you know, I want to play minutes, um, whether it be a friendly or a qualifier. Uh, for me, the most important thing is just getting back on the pitch um, and building up as many caps as possible, so hopefully that week can help me do that. Possibly you're playing France, so that must be mode watering. Yeah, listen, it's, it's going to be difficult, you know. Um, just been off the back of a, a Man City game with, with, my, with my club at Bristol City, so um, I know how difficult those games can be, but um, we're ready for it, you know. Um, we'll work this week and, and hopefully we can put a, a good performance in. What position do you think Stephen Kenny is considering you for? I mean. uh, depending on, on formations, really. Um, we're doing a bit of work out there today. Um, I know the manager plays a, a few different ways, so for me, I, I would consider myself a right winger or a right forward. Um, but I can be versatile as well. I've played right wing back this season and I've played right back, um, which I don't think is personally my best position, but um, if a manager needs me to do a job, I feel like I'm well capable. Well, best of luck to you. Thank, thank you. Kevin King, please. Hey Mark. Hiya bud. Um, Roy Keane praised you uh, yeah. for Ireland. He described the decision as brave. Yeah. Did you view it the same? No, I did, I did see it. Um, I mean, listen, there's there's many things that people say out there, you know. Um, it's, a, it's a nice thing, I suppose, but yes, brave in a way because there may be a bit of backlash and people not thinking it was the right thing to do, but I've said in, in many interviews now, it's not them and who's living my life, you know. I'm out, I'm out there putting the sacrifice in and putting the hard work in and I've made that decision basically full well knowing what's going to happen. Um, and I knew it was going to be a difficult decision because um, I feel like if I was to stay, which is something that I wouldn't have, wouldn't have wanted to do, I feel like I was my foot was already in the door. I'd never been around the, the Ireland setup, um, and I knew it was going to be difficult but Thankfully now, with club performances, uh, I feel like I've deserved my chance here. Um, and hopefully this week I um, can get some more minutes. And you feel you're there now, like whatever advantage you might have had in Northern Ireland with your foot on the door, do you feel you've now made up that gap with Ireland? Well, I feel like it's always down to me. Um, I don't feel like anyone should just have the privilege of coming in this setup like this. Um, I feel like this season, definitely from Christmas onwards, that my performances at club level deserve this position um, and I always put it down to myself if I'm playing well at my club then I'm always in the picture here at international level. Next question please. Owen? Hi. Um, did you ever think it was going to come because it was, it was a long time between you declaring and getting this chance? Yeah because I believed in myself. Um, I knew I was good enough to play um, but I don't mind putting that pressure on myself you know. Um, 
and I know if I don't put the performance in at club level then I've no right to be here but recently I feel like I've been doing well and playing at a good level um, and I think yeah, I deserve my place here. Did you have much talk with the manager during those what was eight months, two years when you weren't in this um, Not really, no. I don't feel like he, he would have needed to speak to me in, in that way. You know, as, Like I said, no one really deserves just to be here just because they've declared for, for Ireland. You know? um, but for me, I always, like I say, put it down to my performance. Um, when I was doing well, I feel like I deserved my chance. If I wasn't to do so well, then someone else will be there to take it. Um, two things, Mark. Uh, Curtis Fleming. Yeah. Good lad. Yeah. One of the greats. Um, well, has he been supportive of your move, and have you been talking to him about this? And uh we've never spoke about me um, switching allegiances, mm. as they say. Um, but he's always been supportive in the, even stuff outside of football, family stuff. He understands. You know, if you have a few days off, that you might want to go back and see your family back in Belfast, and just always being the middleman between me and the manager if I need anything that he's there for me so um, all, all support's good from him you know um, and it's always nice to have a, an Irish man by your side yeah. he, was a, he was a right back also yeah, yeah. right wing back yeah, yeah. Uh, he was a great character to purchase you were right there today um, Mikey yeah. Johnson was out there yeah uh, to be honest I haven't Did spoke to Mikey a lot um, I was on a recovery day today because yes. I played yesterday so um, I didn't get the train properly but I'm sure I'll get the known throughout the week. Yeah, do you know much about him? Uh, not, not a lot. I know he was at Celtic when he was a bit younger, but uh, I've had my own career to focus on as well. John Fallon, please. Mark, you mentioned like there's, there was no choice for you. This was all that you ever wanted. Yeah, yeah. Like, growing up, was there any opportunity to know other lads would have came in? Belfast and Derry into that. Yeah, no, I've, I've mentioned this before. I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's anything set up in the north um, for young lads to kind of come through in the FAI. Um, for me, it was always the Northern Ireland set up was there for me when I was younger. And to be honest, I don't mind saying it, I wasn't, I wasn't the best player when I was younger. You know, I wasn't always the top of the tree and wasn't always getting picked. So I probably... If it was the best player, someone might have came down and had a look or, or anything like that. But for me, until I got a little bit older, and I didn't move to England until I was 20, 21. So whenever that came about, then I believe that the, the FAI had an interest in it. And for me, it was unbelievable that they did. So, um, like I said, well, it wasn't a difficult decision. Brendan Fund. Mark, um, you were in one, you get into one squad. Yeah. Then I think following squad, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're, you weren't in it, uh -huh. and then you get in for the ball, but just to talk about, uh, a bit about um, missing out and the disappointment, because yeah. I think we had him in the squad, and I think he should be in the next squad, yeah. and he left out. It's uh, yeah, it, listen, it's not for me, like I said, like, I don't know if uh, during that camp maybe I wasn't playing so well or I wasn't playing at club level, like, I'm not going to take anything so personal unless I fully believe that I should be in every time a, a, a camp's name, which I don't, you know, and I think that should stand for everybody. Um, but as I've mentioned the last couple of times, are like, if somebody's playing well at their club, I feel like, why not? I, I, integrate them in the international team. I know I did miss out on the last one, but again, the next one when this passes, I feel like the more good performances put on a club level, the higher my profile becomes, and maybe then Stephen can, can keep adding me in, you know. Can I ask one more about the uh, Man City match? Yeah. I watched the Man City match, you had a really good game. Yeah. Um, but in terms of that, uh, you can play maybe five or six matches in the championship, but that there, in terms of lessons, yeah. about learning the game and all the, all the rest, what was, that, what, what was that experience like? It's just on a different level, you know, as soon as you switch off, you get punished. Um, and I played in that game again, I played right back um, for half of the game, you know, and it's for someone like myself, I haven't played there a lot in my career and you're constantly aware of what's going on around you and listen, the coaching's obviously top quality, the players are worth millions and millions, I think they had 380 million on the bench, something along them lines, so that's the, the step up in class, you know, um, but listen, we, we went into the game with no pressure at all, you know, just go out and express ourselves and enjoy ourselves as much as possible, but um, we also want to put in a good performance and I think we've done alright. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.